Hi friends, welcome back to Anna Nail School English channel. So in today's video, I'm going to show you a little bit of a different extension. So I used a bunch of different uh, colors and techniques to create this extension. So as you can see, we have white acrylic, glitter acrylic and then clear acrylic. So I'm going to show you how to do this. But before we start, if you're new here, please consider subscribing to my channel and also don't forget to turn on the notifications. So let's begin with the video. As you can see on the screen, I started uh, by removing the previous extension. So as you can see, she has some leftover from her previous extensions. Even though she cut down the length uh, of the extension, there is still a lot of product left on the nail plate. So whenever we uh, work on a client with previous extension, we have to start by uh, removing the previous products from her nail plates. It can be just gel polish, nail polish or extensions. Okay. Once we completely remove them, then we start with our dry manicure. So here uh, I'm using an orange wood stick to push back the cuticle. Once I push back the cuticle, then I start uh, with my dry manicure where I'm going to use a um, diamond bit to remove the dead skin from the cuticle area. So um, this part is the significant part for your extension to last longer. So most of the time, especially beginners, they struggle with the durability of their extensions because they do not clean the cuticle area uh, the way they should. Okay. So just make sure that you are completely removing dead skins from the cuticle area. So here, as you can see, I'm going to give like a quick demo. So this is how I use my bit. So as you can see, I'm not going like all the way from one side to the other side. I'm just going small pieces, just one by one, little, little areas. And when I'm doing the right side, my machine will be on a reverse mode. And for the left side, I will use my forward mode. Okay. So here again, look at the angle, how I'm holding the bit and I'm pushing up the skin. The skin is already lifted because we use the orange wood stick to push up the skin. And then I am going to file underneath that area, but not too much because if you do too much, then you will end up over filing the nails and then you will create that ring of fire nail damage. Okay. So uh, make sure you're gentle at the same time, your speed here, I'm using 18,000 RPM, but if you're a beginner, you can start with lesser speed like 8,000 or something. But once you know how to do things, then you can eventually increase your speed to 18 to 20,000 RPM because using the right bit, right speed is very important when it comes to electric file. And uh, that's why I'm using it for 18,000 18, RPM per minute. <coughs> so now, uh, after cleaning up uh, the base of the nail, then I'm using the bit to lift up and roll the skin back so that whatever keratinized skin we have here, we are going to trim it. So this way, when I lift it back, it's easy for us to trim the cuticle area. After finishing the dry manicure, it's time for us to measure the tips. So as you can see, 
I'm using a clear tip here so this is a long square shape I measured the tips and then I'm going to do a little brief, a little bit of prep on the tips so I uh, this is actually a good tip for the beginners I have already talked about this in my previous videos also so this way we are going to file down the thickness of that French cut area of the tip and then we are going to attach it so when uh, after attaching the tips you are supposed to blend it with your natural nail braid right so if you do this already and when you uh, you know after attaching it when you are going to um, blend it you don't have to actually file too much and that will avoid you know any further nail damages especially for beginners okay experienced tech it doesn't matter because they know how to file it okay so now I'm applying the glue as you have seen I'm using Shill's uh, brush on glue and this way hold the finger straight then enter the tip like this way don't go all the way inside so most of the people I have seen on internet they put it all the way inside so we don't have to do that only till where the both the corners the side corners of the nail ends until that area only we have to cover it with the tips okay even if it's like little five percent only then you only have to attach the uh, tips only to the five percentage of the uh, fingernail okay don't do it like to all the way inside okay so now next we are going to clean up the nail plate a bit uh, file and buff it and also at this point you can ask the client how long they want their nails to be so here I'm just going to go with the whole uh, length of the nail I also buffed and uh, you know blended the tip as you can see and after that I'm applying dehydrator here and then followed by primer so as you can see I only applied it to the nail plate not on the tip and here I'm using clear acrylic uh, then white acrylic and I'm also going to use a glitter acrylic all these uh, the glitter acrylic and white acrylic are from model ones and the clear one is from uh, glam and glitz they all work together very well so I'm going to use this all together and the monomer I'm going to use Mia secret uh, monomer so that's something that I have been using for a very long time but um, I recommend to use uh, monomer and powder from the same brand uh, so that you have like a very good chemical bonding so this one is like kind of tested before so that's the reason I'm using the same uh, you know uh, Mia secret monomer with the, this uh, two acrylic powders okay so here uh, I started with like one small bead of clear and then I put a uh, you know small dot of white acrylic and then I'm kind of trying to create a uh, uh, what we call it um, marble effect okay so I wanted to try the marble effect from a very long time uh, I thought it was very easy to do but when I start to do it that's when I realized it's not that easy okay it took me a while to figure out how to do it and uh, you'll be laughing when I say this uh, because by the time I finished when I was at the last finger that's when my brain just figured out how to do it so it's a little different what I wanted to create was a marble effect but I ended up with a slightly different version of marble effect um, but that's how we learn I think right so we all have to like struggle through something to reach that better version of ourselves right so uh, whatever it is but end result was really beautiful and uh, my client was very happy with it she did not ask me to do you know particular design she said just do whatever you want to do so I thought okay why not okay so here again I'm using a little bit of clear little bit of white and I'm just trying to create like a marble effect here and once I'm done with the marbling then I decided I'll add a little bit of glitter just to give it like a edge uh, look okay After adding the glitters, I did not add too much glitter if you see. 
I only uh, because the glitters were like really big chunky glitter so I didn't want uh, the whole nail to be covered with glitter I added a little glitter and then I did the encapsulation because we need to protect the effect that I created here so I added uh, clear acrylic to encapsulate it I started from the half side because the nails are pretty long here so I started from the middle part and then I did the cuticle and all so here I was very mindful of how thick I'm going to make the nails when I did the um, you know uh, marbling effect uh, so one finger finished now let's move on to the next one so here if you see my technique has significantly improved and uh, now it's kind of a marbling effect initially it wasn't okay so again I will be doing the same technique using different colors so right now I just use white and clear and the glitter but I have some ideas for like with color acrylic so stay tuned for that tutorial soon so here again um, I created the marble effect and then I used clear acrylic to encapsulate the design so this was pretty um, easy here uh, when I reached the thumbnail and uh, after this uh, we started filing and shaping so this is how it looks and I made sure that the application is very neat and not too thick or anything so that um, you know I don't have to file too much I hardly spend like five minutes to file all the fingers After filing, shaping and buffing, it's time for us to uh, clean the nail pit before we apply the top coat. So this is very important. We have to clean and make sure that there is no uh, dust particle on the nail plate because if we leave dust particles, then when you apply the top coat, you will see that little pokey pokey particles on the top. You won't see like a clean, you know, finish. So, so that's why it's very important. You can also ask the client to wash their hands uh, just with plain running water or you can just make sure that you are cleaning it thoroughly okay so uh, that's exactly what we are doing here and after that I'm going to seal it with a no wipe top coat so again the no wipe top coat I'm using is from Shell's uh, diamond top coat this is like kind of my one of my kind of favorite top coat um, so I but my most favorite is TNT's no wipe top coat uh, which I have been started using it I have so once this is over then I'll move on to that one so with that um, that's the end of the video this is the final look you tell me how you like it um, I, my client loved it I loved it so I wanted to know if you guys liked it so if you like this video don't forget to like share comment and also don't forget to subscribe turn on the notification and I'll see you soon on my next video until then stay safe stay happy bye bye thank you for watching